Hey guys, this is Jerry, welcome to the channel. Today is a quick video for the MG ZST dashboard. Um, all you need to know about the ZST dashboard settings and the setup, the display, everything. Um, what I'll do is I'll split the video in two different parts. The first part will be the traditional analog dial plus the small digital dashboard. The second part will be the ZST essence for the full digital dashboard. So the first part of the vehicle will come with the ZST core, ZST vibe, ZST Excite that's currently available where the last part will be the ZST Essence. For you, all you need to do is just click the timestamps down below to go through different parts. And as always, please make sure you subscribe and like if you're enjoying this content and to help this small channel. And uh, if you look like to purchase any vehicles in Auckland, New Zealand, and please make sure you contact me. My name is Jerry. I work for Abbott MG. All right, the first vehicle we're in is a ZST Core. But this is the same dashboard and system compared to the ZST Core. Vibe and Excite, all these three different trims. So first thing we need to know, on your dashboard, on your steering, you have the arrow buttons, allows you to navigate through the dashboard. And if you could have a look close to the dashboard, first thing, the round dial on the left is your traditional speedo uh, with your analog dial with the fuel tank at the bottom. And your fuel tank light will light up at the moment, it's half full. And your indication for the seatbelt warning, for the braking, uh, for the parking brake, for all the other things. On the right, you have the rev counter, and underneath, we have the water temperature. In early morning, uh, in a cold weather, you may have water temperature going very down towards the left. That means once you start driving the vehicle, the water temperature will go to normal. If it stays in somewhere in between, it will be totally fine. And now we go into the center screen. So the center screen will have four different displays that shows you information, where at the bottom, it's permanently displayed for your time, for your parking and for your kilometers of odometer on the bottom and to change whatever you want to see in the center is to go through the buttons on the dashboard so now we want to go to the first one as you can see there are four small icons on the top that shows you four different menus so the first one let's call it the vehicle information menu so we have the first thing current speed that's your digital speedo on the top we have zero kilometers per hour and then you can see the vehicle is over here but it doesn't display anything apart from the zero speedo and if we're going down once that's range to empty this is based on your driving consumption this can fluctuate again even if you fully charge the vehicle fully fully fill up the vehicle so it may not show 500 may show 600 it's whatever you have you have been driving it's based on your consumption and go down again next one is your current journey this is the journey i have traveled today once i started the vehicle today you can see it's one kilometers it's a very average very low k and very high consumption as the vehicle has been has been idling for 17 minutes if you do want to reset, you can see long press OK to reset. Now we have used this button, just hold on OK. There we go, everything's reset to zero. But if you do want to calculate more journey, this is the next step. Going down, we have accumulated total. So that allows us to see the vehicle has been running 400 something Ks. Uh, average consumption, again, it's very low speed as the vehicle has been idling. We've been, you know, uh, starting the vehicle. This is a demonstrator, by the way. So it's not been driven sort of thing. Uh, so that's just the high consumption. But again, if you do want to long press OK, push and hold, you will be able to reset that if you wish down again and this is your current fuel economy basically when the vehicle is running when you drive the vehicle it will display how many liters per hour you are consuming the, the petrol so this again will fluctuate based on how you drive once you start driving this will be important by the moment we're idling we're not going to be worried about that next part we have the battery voltage showing or battery voltage display so at the moment it's about 14 to 13 volts so which is okay um, if your voltage drops really low somewhere around 10 or less than 10 uh, this is something you may need to know or you may need to keep charging the vehicle or driving the vehicle to get the battery voltage up um, something like that when your battery voltage is low, uh, it may not. It may also give you a small warning once you switch off the vehicle or before you switch on the vehicle, saying something like a 12 volt battery 
um, low, please charge or please start the vehicle. It's very common. It means when the battery level drops quite low, it's going to give you a warning on the dashboard. There's nothing to worry about if you see those things. The vehicle will not just stop just right away just yet. But instead, as long as you keep charging the vehicle, keep driving the vehicle, the battery should go to normal if the battery is healthy. But if it's not healthy, unfortunately, you do need to visit the workshop. Next part, let's go down. This, we have the tire pressure monitoring system. So as you can see, all your tire pressures and temperature and also the bars will be displayed. I think the right one is a little bit crazy on the, on the temperature. Don't know why, but it will change once you start driving again. This thing may not display when you are low, when you just start the vehicle in the morning or when you're not moving sort of thing. Once you start driving to a normal sort of uh, kilometers or normal speed, the temperature will go to normal, the pressure will go to normal. If one of the tire pressure is too low, it will give you a warning around the dashboard with the tire pressure warning sign, and then it will display whichever the tire pressure gets too low. That means you need to check your tire pressure first. If it's too low, if it's damaged or punctured, you need to visit the workshop or tire shop if necessary. And to check your tire pressure, you will be able to open the driver door and find the sticker around here that allows you to see everything on your tire pressure or recommended tire pressure. You could go a little bit higher, I assume, but do not go too low uh, unless you're going off-road, which this car probably not going to be capable of anyway. And let's go down. We are going back to the last one, which is the first one as well, the current speed. So as you jump in the vehicle, you can go up and down in this particular menu. It will go through the cycle, basically. That's the vehicle information. Next one, we have the vehicle setting menu. So the first setting menu allows you to set a thing called speed warning. So if we click OK, we can go into that. So speed warning at the moment is set at 120 kilometers per hour. What that means is when the vehicle uh, goes over 120, the vehicle will give you a small ping sound on the dashboard that allows you to know that your speed is over 120 k's and that means you, in case you're driving on motorway or anything like that you do not want yourself to go 120 it will give you a warning instead if you do want to change it to 115 110 whatever you like you can just go up or down and click ok to set 115 or 110 whatever so every single time you may reach 115 it's going to give you a small warning sound on the top if you do not like the speed warning at all you can go all the way up once you pass i think 30 kilometers per hour you can click off that means it's not going to give you any warning uh, at a speed warning basically pressing off just like that to confirm next one we have the next service that allows you to check your service um, distance between here and to next service so the recommended service interval in new zealand for this zst is 10,000 kilometers or one year whichever comes first so in this instance it's 9,800 kgs to go you can long press ok to reset push and hold to reset to, uh, to another 10,000 k's if you want or a short press to go back so normally you don't want to do a long press because you haven't done the service to the car so do not reset it um, it's I, I mean when you go to the workshop the service station will be able to help you with that that's the service warning it's not going to give you service warning based on time so it's not only going to give you service warning based on your kilometers by the way next one we have the the MG pilot screen, this pilot screen will show you all your information about the land departure warning, about the uh, adaptive cruise control, those information. So as soon as you have switch on the adaptive cruise control, it will shuff, also shuffle to the screen, even if you stay at the speed digital or anything like that. That means it will show your speed on the top, but also show your set speed uh, or your land departure light will light up if you're driving a motorway sort of thing. So this is your screen and you can change all these things. And if you do want to know a little bit more about MG Pilot, I've done a full video on my channel. So check that video if you like. And last one is the warning screen. So this warning screen will show you any warning information or any faulty information or issues with the vehicle, whether your tire pressure warning is on, whether your um, water temperature is too high, whether your, let's say, your cruise control is, um, is not working, stuff like that, whether even your door is left open, it's going to give you the ind ind indication and information on this particular screen. So yeah, that's basically all about the ZST uh, so the entry three models and um, the core the vibe and the excite uh, difference on the uh, digital uh, so small digital dashboard 
And um, again, please make sure you subscribe and like. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much. All right, now we are in the ZST Essence. This particular vehicle comes with a full digital dashboard. So I'm in this particular top spec have this dashboard. So as always, you do have these control buttons on the steering that allows you to go different directions, left, right, up and down with the OK button that controls the dashboard. So this is how the dashboard looks like. And um, I'll quickly show you how the screen looks like just for the basic details. On the left, we have the speedo. And once you start driving, this light will light up based on how much speed you have on the driving. Parking brake and fuel tank, as you can see, E to F, empty to full, based on your fuel tank um, range. And then on the right, we have the rev counter. So again, this light bar will light up on the right rings. And then this particular uh, digital speedo will show your rev counter over there. Depends on, again, the driving information. This vehicle is not fully switched on, by the way, so it's showing you all the all you light and engine light, all that things. But once we switch fully switch on, this will go off. But if you do have a problem, this will show up on the dashboard, just to let you know. And then underneath, we always have this permanent display that shows your range to this vehicle, the odometer for this vehicle. We have parking gears at the moment it's engaged on park and on the left that's your range to empty so that means based on this half tank we have about 194 cases to go but this will fluctuate based on your driving uh, information or driving consumption depends on how you drive all that things this car is a demonstrator so it's it's been idling for quite some time to show people how the vehicle is and all that things this is not the best figure as you can see then in the top display, we have quite a lot of information. First thing you can do is you have different four menus. You can see the top bars on the top that allows you to see different menus. That means we can go right or left to go through four different screens. First one is the vehicle information. Second one is the setting. Next one is the MG pilot screen. And the last one is the warning information. So we'll go through the first one first. So the first one is the vehicle information. At the first screen, you can see the dots on the right. In this particular screen, we can go up and down through the different dots to show you all the information. First thing is the time and the date and the cruise control information light on the top car. And this is how car looks like with unlocked and lights is off and doors is not unlocked or anything like that. If anything changes, these switches underneath would have different switches or indication. Next, we can go down to the second screen. The second screen will show the current journey. That means when I switch on the vehicle, how long has been have I been running for, sorry, how many k's and how long, and average speed and average consumption over there. It will display on this particular panel. Again, at the moment, the vehicle hasn't been run, so there's nothing showing. If you do want to re reset the current journey, you can push and hold OK to reset this particular screen. Down to the bottom again, we have a cumulative total, so that means within these 334 k's, the vehicle has been averaging um, driving for this amount of time, average speed, average consumption. Again, the car has been idling, so the consumption doesn't look great. If you do want to reset, you can also push and hold OK to reset this particular screen. Next one, we have the fuel consumption. Again, this based on how you do car driving or how the vehicle being idling, it will fluctuate up and down. Last one, it'll give you the average. This is really up to you. Next part, we have the tire pressure monitoring system. So all the ZST will have the tire pressure sensor inbuilt on those wheels and tires. That means it will, it will mess, measure the tire pressure. It will display on the top. If the tire pressure is too low, you, it will give you an indication on the on the left or on the right uh, with a warning sign. And to check your tire pressure, just open the driver door inside the door panel underneath. You'll be able to see the recommended tire pressure. Otherwise, it will display over here telling you what's your tire pressure, what's your temperature like and everything. Because the vehicle has been driven on the road, so this tire pressure is not an accurate figure. Once you start driving on the road, it will display a better figure for you. Next, we have the battery voltage. So the battery voltage is healthy if it's somewhere in the middle between, I think, 11 to 14 to 15 volts. But if the battery voltage goes really low, that means you might have to start the vehicle, you might have to charge it, or you might have to replace the battery if necessary. Next part, that's the front, one screen, front screen again. Let's go right. This is the setting menu. On the setting menu, we have the first thing, brightness. Just click OK, you can go up or down to change the brightness for that particular dashboard. 
Next one, we have the speed warning. So you can set your speed warning to a particular kilometers per hour on the set speed. That means if the vehicle travels over 120, it's gonna give you a warning on, 100, on, the, on the dashboard to tell you you are over 120. You can set it to 115, 110, whether you like. Just press OK to confirm. That means it will go to 110. Or if you do not wish to use that feature at all, you can go all the way up. Once you pass 30, you'll be able to cancel it. Just press off. So there will be no um, no um, speed warning. Next to service, we have the service reminder on this vehicle. So if you click OK, we can go into that. You can see the next because this vehicle service interval is 10,000 kilometers or every year, whichever comes first, it, means it will give you a warning if you reach 10,000 Ks or before you reach 10,000 Ks. That means you want to book for your service, all that things. And it's not going to give you a warning based on your time. It's only going to give you a warning based on your distance. And, but if you do want to reset it, you can just go into OK and long press OK to reset if you wish. Just push and hold. We don't want to do that for this vehicle, so I won't demonstrate that. Next part, we have the AMG Pilot, which is your electric cruise control your land departure warning information uh, once you start cruising con uh, start using the cruise control again for a full tutorial mg pilot i've done a separate video on my channel so feel free to check it out if you're interested in that next we have the warning screen so this warning screen will show you the information where the door was uh, is left open or if you have a punctual air a punctual tire or you have a problem with your vehicle or anything like that, it will give you a warning information. So at the moment, what you want to see is no warning information. That means everything's perfect. So yeah, that's pretty much all about this video. I hope you enjoyed it and make sure you subscribe and like for more future MG videos. And um, yeah, see you next video. Thank you very much.